Inside the hallowed walls of the Colosseum, the gladiators of the IWE engage in battle. The battle of strength, athleticism, and cunning. Many will enter the Colosseum. Few will win the battle for gold. The battle for supremacy. The battle for pro wrestling. Immortality. For years now, the Green Street Mafia have reigned supreme in the IWE Tag Team Division. But as of late, their dominance has been questioned by an unlikely duo in Stuntman Mike and the Mighty Bojack. Now, with the rightful owners of the IWE Tag Team Championships in question, will the championship picture become clear? Or will we have more questions as Bojack seeks revenge for Cream Street's attack on him outside of the Coliseum. We answer these questions and more right now. TV. I am Axel Gear, joined alongside by Scrappy. How are you doing today? Oh, I am doing amazing, and it's getting redundant with the whole action-packed episodes, but without a doubt, we have got a stuffed packed episode of a Battle Zone TV for you. Uh, Draven O'Shawns is in the building, Rocky Shocker is in the building, and a, a whole lot more. So why don't Stick we just Stick around, let's get to the action right now. Send it right up to King Joe. The emulator is in the building. Draven O'Shawns followed closely by the greater good. I'm sure Draven O'Shawns would love to see himself in the, in the conversation for the Gladiator Championship uh, too. Uh, oh yeah, no doubt about it, who wouldn't? So many people right now are in the running for Gladiator Championship, all of them seeming to have a legitimate claim at the title. And Jeremiah Hughes, says you guys decide for yourselves I'll be waiting I'll take on anybody but Draven O'Shawns oh, look at this that you are the king right there it, it's King Street Mafia over oh, here goodness sake. oh that looks better than on that dollar store Burger King we got over there you and Rocky Shocker were actually pretty good friends on the outside anyway Disrespectful fans. Have you Disrespectful fossil. Rocky Shocker. The fact of the matter is, is Rocky Shocker has been jealous of me since day one. Since I joined Harley Legal, Rocky Shocker has been jealous of my abilities and everything that I can do. He knows that I'm better than him. And tonight, I'm going to prove it. Some strong words from the emulator. Well, you saw it make short work of Creator Wrestler a few episodes back, and uh, it sounds like he wants to do the same thing to Rocky Shocker. And he's been waiting a while to get his hands on him. Let's... It's going to be a tough, tall order, though. Well, no doubt. Draven O'Shawns is nothing to sneeze at. The dominant mind of the emulator is a... He's definitely a force to be reckoned with. Don't, we, don't let his small stature... You know, well, he, he takes on, he can emulate you know, the, the opponent. So, like, I mean, he, yes, you, exactly how do you right. combat that? The way he left Harley Legal and left them laying to align himself with the greater good. 
just in the name of greed. But here comes the Rocker Showstopper. Flanked by Cody Leedy, it's Rocky Shocker, purely legal. Your IWE uh, fan favorites, uh, the fan in IWE country, happy to see our uh, our hairy masked friend here. We haven't gotten to see these two next to each other very much since losing the tag team championships to the Korean Street Mafia some time ago. And there's still well, Rocky, we'll get into the tag team championships later. You've Holy been cow! Sick lately, but it's great to see you back and in good health. You heard what Draven had to say? What do you think? I think he didn't have anything important to say, first of all. Second of all, when I first started here in IWE, my only goal was to rock and roll all night and party every day, baby. No, 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 no. That's kind of changed a little bit. Because for some reason, you got it out to ruin my life, and I'm sick of it. I ain't jealous of you, I'm tired of you, and I'm going to show you exactly what that means. Rocky Shocker. Because just like Twisted Sister, I ain't going to take it anymore. Rocky Shocker, when he first came to IWE, what did not really, was not really taken all that seriously. Didn't take himself too terribly seriously. Well, you know, I, I still don't, but uh, he does have a little bit of an edge now that he ha didn't have before, and the fans really like Harley Legal, and nobody can deny how good that championship run was. And, and it shocked the world, really. Shocked the world. I see what you're doing there. Rocky Shocker used to be a successful musician, hair metal musician. But a pyro accident going off on stage uh, rather and disfigured his face. I, I think it made him prettier because he's got this mask on. It's a good looking mask. You're absolutely right about that, but I'm sure it also hurt. What do you. Oh, I have a note. Oh, Axel Gear has got something going on here. Hold on a second. Axel was handed something off camera here and was told to give this to Joe. So I'm not sure what's going on here, but uh, I think it came from Frankenbucket, if I had to guess. Uh, and it looks like Axel, well, we'll find out. Joe's got the paper. I saw the, uh, he got handed a piece of paper from uh, management here, and we're going to see what happens. Axel Gear has just delivered a message to me from. Listen, Cruz. A message from President Frankenbucket. Yeah, that's what I thought. I saw that little green bucket back there. Handing you notes. What's up with that? You know, President Frankenbucket has come to King Joe with two orders of business. King Joe. Firstly, you made him a king. President Frankenbucket has granted me the right to knight Randolph Schilling. What? Furthermore, making him Lord Schilling. What? So Randolph, if you will take your knee what? to be knighted. Are you kidding the me? The king is going to knight Randy Schilling. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? There's no one more deserving. Does he get, a like, a Happy Meal prize with that? Like a cheeseburger? Hey, the fries come with that? It's a lord shit. The, the, the fries come with that? I mean, come on, man. I know the shake machine's down, so you're not getting that. Lord Schilling. <laughs> I think you just made my ears bleed. Order of business directly from President Frankenbucket. Oh my goodness. Everyone has been barred from ringside. Are you oh. kidding me? Oh wow! 
Draven O'Shawns doesn't believe it. He had to look at the paper, and he's not happy. And the crowd sings. But that means Cody Leedy's got to go, too. That means Cody Leedy's got to go, too. That's cool with me. That returns this to a one-on-one -on -one matchup, as they always should be. Get greater good out of here. Cody Leedy knows it's for the best. This is what it means to be for the greater good. The greater good didn't do anything wrong. There's no reason for... for yeah, but this about. time... This is a what? I'm just a messenger, Cruz. I just took the message you up there. You don't work right now. You ain't got the b uh, uh, I would be careful. I would be I careful. Roberto Cruz will squash you. Well, I, look. I, I mean, he, squash he clenched, you. He clenched a fist at me, and I don't know and what so, happened. I don't know what the happened. The following contest is scheduled for... I know that the referee, the newly knighted Lord Schilling. I know your fight or flight is response is good, but let's go with the flight first. We don't want you to get smashed. I'm, I'm tethered to the desk. First, representing the greater good, hailing from the infinite black skies, weighing in at 135 pounds, the emulator, Draven O'Shawn. Draven is just indignant attitude, and if he takes that attitude into this match, I feel sorry for Rocky Shocker. Look at the look on his face. These two used to be really good friends, Scrappy. And his opponent. He used to be. Representing Harry Legal. From Paradise City, where the grass is green and the curls are pretty, weighing in 18 Gibson guitars, he is Rocky Shocker! <laughs> wants to perform, wants to fire up the crowd. He can't be a rocker anymore, he can be a wrestler, and that's why he's here. Oh, jeez! Oh, eyes wow. in the back of his head. Draven went to, to jumpstart the match. <laughs> this match underway here. Draven went to jumpstart the match, and Rocky, with eyes in the back of his head, saw it coming. Nasty drop kick by Rocky. Rocky has come out on fire. Oh, my goodness. And caught Draven O'Shawn's off guard. Oh, I was to say, he had a shoulder you know, just, up. I'm just, I'm just trying to paw through everything that I've got here. Just trying to get caught up on the, the situation here. My goodness. Well, I know you got caught off guard with that note yeah. here. We all did. Caught off guard with the note. Threats from Roberto Cruz and the greater good. Like, well, you did ruin their day by making that up. You know. Oh, they've been had this coming for a long time, Scrappy. And Rocky Shocker finally has a straight shot here at Draven O'Shawn's. But again, take nothing away from Draven. The dominant mind is a force we reckon with. Oh, absolutely. And here we go, the suplex, it looks like. Wow, it, a powerful suplex. And Sir Schilling just barely get out of the way of that one. taking the wind out of the sails of Draven O'Shawn's. Oh yeah, he's struggling right now. It's, uh, oh yeah, he's struggling. But emulator he, has come a long way himself. Is, Since joining the greater good, he's been trained by Nick Baker oh, himself. Oh, just brilliant. Just brilliant, goading him in oh, and geez. oh, jeez, yeah, elbow shot. That is absolutely brilliant. Bin. Ooh, oh. see, Draven is Rocky just smarter than everybody. Yet. He just he 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 goaded him in there, playing possum, and yanked him into that rope, and Oops. now he's got advantage here. Brilliant, Un unbelievable. I know he didn't emulate Rocky when he thought of that. Perhaps not. Massive. Stiff suplex of his own. With veracity. And into a lateral press. Two. Rocky pushes himself free. That was tough. He struggled a little bit there, man. These guys are hitting hard and fast here Jeez, early. Straight into a tight, cinched up sleeper hold. Well, you see the way he slides his, hip, hip, his hips down in there, man. That really puts pressure on that, yeah. on that carotid artery there on the side of the neck. You're absolutely right about that. Is that going to be enough to take out Rocky, though? Rocky's still trying to fight his way free. Rocky still has signs of life. Well, I, I'm not going to take this away from Rocky. He is a tough SOB, as they say. Randy Schilling right there still verifying that the choke is still a legal one and it's not, it is, that is a sleeper and not a choke, I should say. Yes, it looks like a, a, a nice chin lock. Oh, man. Shots to the abdomen. There you go. It's, it's Shocker was fighting free, and I guess I can't blame Ra uh, uh, Draven. It's, it's, it's smart. He's taking his real sweet time, though. 
and that could be given Rocky Shocker the precious seconds he needs. He is a little bit too methodical for my liking, but it is all about the mind games. If you can get He's inside like, the head of your opponent, you have an instant advantage, and the best in the IWE do that. I could definitely see where he's learning that from Nick Baker. Nick Baker is not a fast, all everything out the gate competitor. He's, he's he is very slow, deliberate, methodical, as you say. That does not necessarily play into Draven and Sean's strengths, I might think. But then again, I don't know. The emulator, like we said, can emulate the traits of his opponents. He might be able to pull out a great deal of something or other, speed, agility, or what have you at a drop of a hat. The whole point is that he can be anyone he wants. Draven O'Shawn's is but an aspect. And now, with a sleeper hold applied, like a chin lock looking thing, including the ring post around, driving it into the side of the head. Jeez. Draven rolls back into the ring long enough to break the hold right back out again. Or not to break the hold, to break the count, excuse me. Putting the boots to a Rocky Shocker over here on the outside in front of the IWE faithful. You know, I'm looking at Rocky Shocker over here, and he could use a trip over to uh, our friends at Blended Line Saloon to do something with that mop on his head. They do some good stuff over there. Blended, yes, Blended Line uh, Saloon does do great, great work. And he needs some Blended Lines. Look at He looks like a mop over here on the ground. Wet and smashed as the emulator goes to the middle rope. Going up top. Or second rope, excuse me, yes. Oh, here comes the axe handle. He's just waiting. Here it comes. Shocker back to his feet. Oh, caught him. Oh, oh Looks like a spine he buster. He caught him into like a spine buster, and boy, did they both hit yeah. hard. I mean, the momentum that carried. That's one heck of a counter. Now into a cover now. One, two. Oh. oh, just barely. Just barely. That it didn't look like there was a whole lot left so of that. Close. Shraven, so close. So close. Shraven barely rolls his shoulder over. That may have been all that, that uh, Draven and O'Shawn's had left. There may be nothing left of the emulator after that. O'Shawn thought he had this prize move in the bag. Shocker cut it and countered it. Oh! Oh! Oh, jeez! Oh, that was brilliant. Caught him in the air and planted him on his face. Buster, into the pin. Three. No, it was not the three. Wow. Shocker got the shoulder up. That was not the I three. I can't believe that wasn't a three. That was, only that was two. one heck wow. of a move. And I don't know how, how he kicked out. I don't now know Sean's is angry. Oh, yeah. He's setting him up. He's oh, Sean's is livid. Rocky better watch it. Come back with a stop. Sean's looked out of the way. Schoolboy into the pin. One, two, three. Oh, you got wow. it. Wow. Me. Wow. The winner what of the pen. pen. Rocky Shocker. I can't believe what I just saw here. It's just I mean, like that. I mean, he fumbled through that roll up, but he got oh, him. Oh, man, no. Your little Sean's well, unhappy about it. I'd be mad, too. I'd be mad, too. Put it. Shawn's, there's oh, there's that the ankle. ankle lock. Oh, that is nasty. This match is long over. Rocky Shocker is the winner. Oh, man. Just, I can't believe it. Somebody's going to get some out. help out here. Driven O'Shawn's just unloading on Rocky Shocker. He lost the match and now taking it out on Rocky Shocker behind his back. Despicable. That's despicable. That is that is how you do it. You see, you do something about it. You gotta watch it, man. You're messing with the wrong guys. You've been doing this all day. Unbelievable. Despicable. You are just getting you're just getting roughed up by everybody. I don't need Robert Cruz in my face. I don't need Draven O'Shawn's in my face. That is not what I'm here for. Hey, man. You just just watch 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 your mouth, brother. But I got you back. I got you back. It's all right. Thanks, Scrappy. Thank I you. I got you back. Thank I can't. I'm not going to let that happen again. We can't have any more ruckus at the table. We're professionals here.
Poor Rocky Shocker. Rocky got Shocker, stopped. the winner of this match. Yeah, you can't tell by the way he's walking around here. He got he got it put to him by the uh, emulator after the match. And uh, I'm telling you, just watch it. Don't, you know, you're gonna get me in a fight. Watch, watch it. I know, I know. I'm but just, I, I, I'm just I, trying to catch my breath now. I, the Green Side has been a thorn in our side for far too long. And Draven O'Shawns, who just insists, he insists that there's a problem with Rocky Shocker. That Rocky Shocker needs to be the one put away. And like Rocky Shocker says, he just wants this to be over with. And I don't blame him. Hey, I don't hey. want to have to look at this anymore either. That's the greater a greater good. The greater good doing their thing, wreaking havoc. Uh, that is for sure. Some say champions are born, but we believe champions are forged in the fire of competition. I think you need a championship for in the ring or out. J. Dub Bells makes custom handmade championships for all occasions. Our customer friendly belt levels allow J. Dub Bells to provide quality products for any budget. For more information about us, our leather products, or to order your very own custom made championship belt, log on to www.jdubbelts.com Holy cow. I'm so glad I'm not wearing the cape right now. It's too warm. Yeah, well, it is definitely, definitely a warm day here in uh, IWE country. Speaking of capes, though, King Joe, cape clad. I'm ready to greet our next competitors. What was what was I just saying? What did I just say? Hey, now don't now these are my boys, okay? So just don't start anything with them, alright? Just leave them leave them be. It, it's for your best interest. The greater good, Cream Street Mafia, along with Craig Stossel, with Baker stomping somebody's shirt. I didn't see whose shirt that was with that Rocky shirt. Still out here Cruz, for the last match. Baker. You shut up. You shut up. You shut up. There it goes. We saw your attack on Bojack. You've come out here wearing his vest. Ah, uh, I missed that. Bojack's vest. No, no. I, and you still think you're a tag team champion? Well, now there is some controversy over who actually holds the tag team championships right now. I still think it's Cream Street. I think you've got some explaining but, to do as far as why you would so heinously attack Bojack from behind. Yeah, dude. Well, first of all, I don't owe an explanation to any Burger King, but I Thank will say you. Bojack got what he deserved. Him and that idiot, stuntman Mike, want to walk around and claim they're the IWE tag team champions. I was never pinned or submitted. That's we true. Lost these belts on a day I wasn't even here. That's true. So if I try to take back my property and he got hurt, that's not my problem. Tell him. But you know what my problem is? Not having a match. So I know that idiot's not here, but I want the ref to ring the bell anyways. Let me get a count out on this. All right, yeah, Roberto Cruz getting the victory in here before it even starts. And they, and it, he's got a legitimate claim to the tag team championships. He's carrying obviously one right here. Now, some may say Bojack has a, a claim, and, and 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 Mike as well. Bojack and Stuntman Mike, I believe, are the tag team champions. I, I, I disagree because they won the match for the belts. It's true that Roberto Cruz was not here you that can't, day. You can't defeat a champion that's not in the building. The titles were being held up for grabs. They were being held and contested on the line. Nick Baker, and if I recall correctly, Draven O'Shawn's defending the tag titles on R Roberto Cruz's behalf. And they lost. The titles were on the line in a match. Well, And now, we, the, with we, Bojack not here, he wants to get the win. And I guess there we go. Dr. referee Dr. Ryan is going to let it happen. He's got to have to count. 
We're going to have a count out victory here for Roberto Cruz. I bet he's going to love this. This is the easy day, how man. Sweet the, how sweet the victor's purse must be when you didn't have to do anything to win it. Dude, I mean, easy money. All you do Ain't nothing wrong with that. Show up. Easy money. Don't get paid by the hour here. We've talked about it before, Axel. Come on, just five more seconds and he's getting paid. Yeah, see, we're I rocking. hope he's happy. I, hope I would be. Happy. I would be. He walks around here throwing his weight around. He doesn't even have to work and he's going to win. Gets himself in my face. Wait. What? What? Is he here? Bojack's here. Is he here? He's Look here. Look at that. Holy cow. Championship belt he doesn't, hand. Yeah, but he doesn't look in very good shape. He's got a sling on, and he does not look ready to go. He was about to be handed a loss by a count out he, like that, a four he is, in, he is in rough shape Wait here. Wait a minute. Oh, what? Wait a minute. Oh, he's taking that sling off. sling off. Bojack says, let's go. He's ready to have a match. No count out. And there it goes. For you. Yes. This match is real. No yeah. count out victory for you. Well, is it even Bojack started? They, 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 the they got to get this back in the ring. Bojack this match has is in he... no hurry. Oh, man. Cruz taking off the, uh, barely taken off of his feet. Head bounced off the post. Man, and he's now, just taking them all away. Across the floor, whoa. I don't even know if any of our cameras can see that. Oh, he's Those chucking chair. chairs. Oh, wow. There's a chair at the wall. Who's barely got all the way. And a cameraman hot on their trail as they run around here through IWE Universe. I hope we can keep your footage of this. This is why we say, be careful if the action spills outside the ring. We don't want anybody else getting hurt. Bojack trying to get a measure wow. of revenge here. They don't blame him. Bojack, one half of your IWE Tag Team Champions, alongside Stuntman Mike, I don't care what anybody else says, they won that match. That match was for the tag titles. But not against the tag champs. One half of the tag champs weren't even here. You can't, how do you do that? You just, I understand hey, hey, you're gonna wrestle claim. for this guy and now you're the champ. That, that, see, I understand that's what happens when you have a bucket title. running the company. I understand he's claimed for the title. He wasn't in the match. He didn't lose the match to lose the title. I understand that. And he had the championship with him at the time. And so no one was able to get the championship belt away from him. I understand that. But, it, but the match still happened. In the books, it's written a W for Stuntman Mike and Bojack for the IWE Tag Team Championship. You need to get Stuntman Mike and Bojack in there with Cream Street Mafia. Not some weird maybe version we of it if you want to be champ. Sure, Sorry. maybe we do. Maybe we do, but that remains to be seen. And, and Roberto Cruz in, in typical cowardly fashion. Ooh. Whoa, you went for the stutter. Cruz saw it coming, though, ducks out of the ring. Smart. See, but Roberto typical, Cruz, then around. In cowardly fashion, refuses to accept the match that he doesn't think he's already got in the bag. Like this count on one he thought he was about to have. He only came into the ring because he thought Bojack wasn't here. He was here to fight, and that's it. It's not his fault that fought. Bojack didn't come. Well, now he's here, but I mean, he didn't. Bojack is, is here. He is now. Showed up late, all bandaged up. Bojack took that sling off, showed he's good to go. Well, and yeah. Roberto Cruz didn't want anything to do with it. They, I mean, Bojack's no joke. I mean, oh, oh Roberto Cruz. Bojack shoving. Oh, so smart. Bojack's face so shoved into smart. the corner. Yeah, arm oh. wrench on the ring apron. Good grief. Oh. And now, Cruz now. Bouncing Bojack off the side of the bleacher steps over there. My God, I hope we have a good camera angle. Whoop, my Bojack's goodness. laying down over there, like grounded. And Roberto Cruz, hey, a count out victory is a count out victory. He's gonna stick with that strategy and he might get one here. Bojack crawling himself, dragging himself up, up off the ground. Count of seven, but Bojack's trying to make his way back. He's limping. I'm hurting. Is he gonna make it? Nine. Count is up to nine. Oh. Back in just barely. 
I mean, talk That's, about just barely. You can tell Dr. Ryan does not want to count that 10. He does not want to give Roberta Cruz a count out victory. Well, at this point, we need to see a, a, a finish. You're absolutely right. We need a so. decisive winner. And maybe if that's what it takes to, to, to stop this argument about who the tag team champions are, then I would like to see that too. Well, put them in a tag team match for the title. I'm not the booker of these matches, or I, I haven't know. done yesterday. We have a bucket doing it. Jeez. A bucket. Who you may recall last episode made one of the greatest calls in IWE history and suspended <laughs> Dan Tan. Suspended uh, indefinitely. Uh, bah, bah. It's a bunch of... I can't even say it on the air. It's a bunch of glory, Scrappy. It's... I'm going to sleep better tonight. Oh, there you go. Go after that injury. Oh, there you go. See? See? That's why. That's why he's one half of the greatest tag team champions in the history of IWE. Smart. Targeting that, uh, that uh, injury and just getting after it. In another universe, these two may have been good friends. Bojack yeah. used to be one of the most hated figures in IWE until he began a few with Stuntman Mike, which has turned into the alliance we have today. Yeah. Former Gladiator champion, and he's and, well, you, you, and current tag team champion, if you ask me. Ah, see, that's all up in the air, and I still think it's Cream Street, but I'm not knocking the, the credentials of Bojack. I mean, look at the dude. He's easily one of the toughest fighters in this company. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying, and that's why uh, it's going to take somebody like Roberto Cruz to put him down. Roberto and, Cruz, to his credit, used to be one of the most favorite wrestlers here in this company. He was at one point, but then he wised up, he they got rid of that stupid bakery, and they hit the streets, and they got some stuff done, and now they're winning. So forget all that uh, catering to the fan stuff. They get championships because they concentrate on winning. That's Cream Street Mafia. Well, whatever it takes to do so, even if it's not inside the rules. Oh, look for the stutter. Oh, oh, oh man, what a shot to that sore arm. Oh, that's just smart wrestling, man. Oh. That was admittedly a smart move by Cruz. Wow, on his head. But he ain't got a hook that's going to be enough. The scoop slam was not enough. And he almost dropped him on his head with that like driver type slam and this came this close to if victory. If Bojack hits that stunner, this could be over. Well, that's what Roberto Cruz was worried about. That's why he hit that arm. Smart. Bojack's Smart tried thinking. for it twice now. And it's failed twice. And it's going to be even harder now to hit that stunner he's only as Roberto hit is working over that arm. But he's only got to hit it once. And this can be over. Right now, though, that sore arm caught in a wrench. Like a, like a chicken wing. Bojack's head then pressed up against Cruz's knee. Oh, uh, man. Driving that arm just, into the ring. Just vicious, man. Jeez. I just love the, 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 the vicious side of uh, Roberto and the and Nick, for that matter. I mean, Cream Sheets has got it in spades, and I love it. Nasty. Oh my goodness. Just working over that arm, that, that arm injury. Bojack too close to the ropes. Cruz has got to give him away from the ropes if he wants to make any kind of headway here. Bojack, meanwhile, just trying to hold his own, trying to recover in this matchup. Jeez, open hand chops. And you got to stay on him, Roberto. Got to stay on him. Bojack is, you give him an inch, man, and he'll come back. Cruz thinks he's on top of this now. Get on him. Stay on him. Oh, caught him, though. Oh, oh. Nasty, you're a nagi. I can't believe he got him up for that with that one bad handed, arm. One handed for because the other one hurts so much. And now incoming. And first and elbow. Spinning elbow, yes. And another one. Working Bo Jack is rocking. And he's working with one wing here, but he's uh, got Roberto Cruz real, and he don't even know where he's at. Oh, twisting arm. Oh. He tries to get him up. Doesn't Couldn't quite do have it. enough. Cruz now. Shows him into the turnbuckle, it's sore that, arm first. It's that arm and elbow coming into play again. It's just, it's too, Cruz it's now, too much. With all four limbs, rolling up, and strike misses. Is that the star? No! Stunner! No! Bojack got the stunner! He did hit him with the stunner, but if he doesn't capitalize now, Roberto Cruz needs to get up. Both men down now. That was apparently desperation move. Bojack. That was all he had. Three, Both men now racing the 10 count to get back to their feet. 
No one wants to see this end on a count out, much less a double count out. Ref up to a count of six. Now, Cruz rolls outside the ring. Oh man, that could have been all that Bojack needed. He'd hit the stunner. All he needed now was to roll over onto the pin. And that's but Cruz rolled out of the ring. Once again, that that experience and, and, and ring awareness. He knew where he was at, he knew what he needed to do, and he rolled out of it. He can't get pinned outside. Just brilliance once again displayed by Roberto Cruz. And Bojack is in a bad way. What is, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, what is, is Nick Baker doing and, wrong? Oh, oh, and it's even worse now. Nick Baker just walks up and cracks him with a chair. Blatant. Referee calls for the disqualification. Now Bojack thought he was in a rough shape before. He's really about to be in rough shape here. And now Cream Street. Cream Street Mafia out here to handle business. Taking it. But here comes Stuntman Whoa, Mike. Well, Stuntman Nick Mike's Baker. here. Nick Baker making a run for it. Stuntman Mike, chair in hand. Stuntman Mike clears the ring with the Here's chair. Here's your tag team champions right here. Well, I, I, I still think it's Cream Street, man. You can't be the champs if you didn't beat the champs. And that's all there is to that. Stuntman Mike and Bojack. And Bojack. The winner of this match by disqualification, the mighty Bojack. Bojack wins via DQ. Oh, look at this now. Oh, see? Green Street now holding up both belts. Yeah. You are not the tag team champions. You're not. They, hey, hey now, I, I, I got to, I, I I can only protect you so much, buddy. Just, just relax. Just leave this those guys alone. This is not fair. This is ridiculous. Bojack, Mike and Bojack into the back. won that match. Hey, another episode in the books, and it is up in the air. Who's the real champs? I say it's Cream Street. Homeboy over here, he just, he's not so sure. And it's Stuntman Mike and Bojack. Well, we're gonna team champions. Well, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out in the future, I'm sure. I. <laughs> We've done it again. Uh, we've. We want to thank you all for joining I, I us. I can't believe it. This one just took. This one took a lot out of me. Well, it, thank you for joining us. And the wherever it is you find us. What about the next episode? The next episode's gonna be off the hook. Wait a minute. Wait, what is? Whoa, whoa, what we're is not even happening? done. So, Stossel's out here. What? All right. Next episode, since Stunt Man Mike decides he wants to be a part of this, I'm making Mike Nick Baker's match. <sighs> I'm making, it's a lumberjack match. Yeah. It's uh -oh. gonna be not just all the IWE wrestlers, but it's gonna be just the greater good. Ah, that's how you do that. I'm Greg Stuckful, and I mean no disrespect. That is what is putting up. Mike, putting Stuntman Mike in a lumberjack match? I love with, it. With nothing but greater good surrounding the I world. freaking love it. You would. Well, you, I mean, come on, think about it. I don't know how much more of this I can take, Scrappy. This is great. Think about it. Cream Street Mafia. All the greater good. Oh, it's going to be so good. Our next episode, we're going to have a lumberjack match. Stuntman yes. Mike in with just greater good around ringside. And we got back bands going to be. We got a bunch Thank next you episode. For us, wherever you find us, via iwgladiators.com. <laughs> and all your streaming services, wherever it is you find us. We thank you for joining us. For Scrappy, I am Axel Gear. Have a good night. We'll see you next time.